It's CWM's 40th birthday. What have CWM been doing for the past 40 years? The Council for World Mission, or CWM, is a global partnership of churches. It was established in 1977 and it arose by and large from the cold ashes of a number of old missionary organisations. The renewal of CWM began in 1975. Winds of change were blowing quietly and steadily throughout the organisation as member churches gathered in Singapore. In fact, that Singapore meeting was the very first time the council had met outside London. Delegates prayed and danced and sang and they listened for what the Spirit was saying. The renewal was as swift as it was Jesus-centred. Very soon, CWM began its journey towards decolonising its old, Eurocentric and very often destructive models of world mission. For the first time, members had an equal say in the newly democratised environment. CWM is 40 years old, and some might say that life begins at 40. 40 is quite a big deal in the Bible. For 40 days, Noah waited out the rainstorm. For 40 days, Moses waited to receive the commandments that would heal the world. For 40 years, the Hebrew people wandered the wilderness, learning to unlearn the ways of empire. And for 40 days, Jesus spent time in the desert, overcoming the powers and principalities so that he might become the true healer of the world. In spite of human progress, the world is deeply wounded. We see the rise of right-wing political movements. We see the environmental destruction and climate disruption much of it as a result of using fossil fuels. We see the exponential rise of debt, usury, market manipulation and wealth inequality which leads to untold suffering and poverty. We see the insanity of wars fought in foreign lands. Killing millions for profit and spawning one refugee crisis after another. What have CWM been doing for the past 40 years? Let's look at the four areas of CWM mission. Local mission, mission with young people, mission for economic justice, and the face-to-face -face program. First, there is local mission. Each CWM member has a mission support program. What this program does is to help each church develop its own local mission priorities. It empowers women in particular. It enables congregations to create beautiful and caring activities for children and older people. It helps food banks to be set up along with soup kitchens for the vulnerable. It also helps the setting up of drop-in centres for migrants and asylum seekers. Mm -hmm. 
Second, there's a mission with young people. This is called TIM or Training in Mission. TIM brings together around 12 young adults each year to explore mission among indigenous peoples. In Taiwan, New Zealand and in Kiribati. The TIM program changes lives among the TIM participants and also among the communities in which they work. Third, there's a mission for economic justice. This is called NEFIA. This new international financial and economic architecture invites churches to imagine what a life-giving economics might look like. This is nothing like our current system that insists on rugged free market capitalism for the poor, yet provides kind-hearted and easy money socialism for the super rich. Rather, this new international financial economic architecture will work for everyone. For the planet, and for the world's poorest and most at-risk human beings. Fourth, the face-to-face -face program. The council offers the quite brilliant face-to-face -face program. Face-to-face -face gathers together theology students to explore the mission of the church. And our living room. Participants reflect on the particular form that empire has taken in the world today. Empire. It is a confluence of political, social, and economic power that benefits the rich at the expense of the poor. And in pursuit of profit, it mindlessly destroys the environment. Face to face gives the students the tools to understand empire, to discern the actual missional role of the church. Students also learn about interfaith dialogue, conflict resolution, human migration, and human trafficking. As CWM celebrates its 40th birthday, it renews its commitment with God to heal a broken world. Happy birthday, CWM! <laughs>